I really think some of the governors have gotten carried away. That is according to U.S. President Donald Trump at a White House news conference appearing to back the protests against coronavirus-related lockdowns that took place in several cities across the country. President Trump also welcomed the reopening of some businesses in Texas and Vermont on Monday while still requiring appropriate social distancing precautions. Against. Again, let's listen in. So when the fake news gets out there and they start talking about the United States as number one, but we're not number one, China's number one, just so you understand. China's number one by a lot. It's not even close. They're way ahead of us in terms of death. It's not even close. You know it. I know it. They know it. But you don't want to report it. Since we released the guidelines to open up America again, and this was two days ago, a number of states led by both Democrat and Republican governors have announced concrete steps to begin a safe, gradual, and phased opening. Texas and Vermont will allow certain businesses to open on Monday while still requiring appropriate social distancing precautions. Moving along well, this should not be a partisan witch hunt, you know, like the Russia witch hunt that turned out to be a total phony deal. Unfortunately, some of these uh, voices, though, are attempting to, to bring this into politics and uh, whether it's testing or ventilators or hospital beds or other dimensions of our sweeping public health response. We have had a sweeping response is the ventilators. And now we're the king of ventilators. We have ventilators. We're going to be helping other countries very soon. We're going to be helping Mexico. I spoke with the president of Mexico. He's great, great guy. And uh, I told him we're going to be helping him. They desperately in Mexico need ventilators. And I told him we're going to be helping. Guidelines? I don't know. I mean, I notice uh, there are a lot of protests out there. And uh, I, I just think that some of the governors have gotten carried away. You know, you have a lot of people that don't have to be told to do what they're doing. They've been really uh, doing everything we've asked them. We have a few states where, frankly, uh, I spoke to the governors and I could have gotten them to do if I wanted to do what uh, would have been perhaps politically correct. But they've been doing incredibly anyway. And as one of them said, everybody's doing exactly the same. And so you can see our case fatality rate is about half to a third of many of the other countries. And, excuse me, does anybody really believe this number? Does anybody really believe this I, number? I put China on there so you could see how basically unrealistic this could be. Um, when highly developed healthcare delivery systems of the United Kingdom and France and Belgium and Italy and Spain with extraordinary doctors and nurses and equipment have case fatality rates in the 20s up to 45 and Belgium is extraordinary. Thank you very much.